Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Roundtable Talk with your host, C Money. And in today's topic, we're talking about homosexuality. And in today's topic, we're going to be basing our topic on homosexuality and the rising and fall of it and why does everybody hate it? Not only hate it, why is it a big issue in today's society? And with that, we're, we're going to be discussing topics like how, why do people ridicule people about homosexuality? Why is it that a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, hate it? And why there's a lot of people that don't accept it when not when today's, in today's society, homosexuality is live and well. Um, we might have some special guests that might be coming in and giving their feedback. You know, our special guest host that be in our previous shows over on LANC will be in the building and we also have another special guest that might be coming in. Um, but let's get jumped to it. Homosexuality. Homosexuality has been since the day of time. It's been there since, you know, for centuries. Homosexuality has been. Man has been sleeping with men. Women have been sleeping with women for, you know, as long as we can ever know. Way before we must was born. Way before our grandparents and great, 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 great grandparents was born. You know, homosexuality was stated in the Bible. You know, it wasn't stated as if there's a man said with a man, but it was stated that there are some things that you know. And nowadays, I, this is what the thing about homosexuality is to people. People feel that homosexuality is a sin. And in my eyes, homosexuality is not the biggest sin out there. And a lot of people ridicule homosexuals and gay people, lesbians and all that. They ridicule them and they look at them and say, you homosexual, you faggot. You know, we got a comment from one of our videos, our previous videos from the Eddie Bishop Long scandal. And a comment was made by one of our viewers and it was made to our video, it was, and thank you for the viewer who posted it, that stated that, yes, indeed, homosexuality is a sin. You must repent, you must, you know, repent to Yahweh, you must repent to God, you must be said, you know, they made a comment about that. You know, yes, homosexuality is a sin, and, I, and yes, it is a sin, but you gotta realize, now in these days, in terms and in society, homosexuality is living wild, living well and it's kicking. Back in the 90s and the 80s, homosexuality wasn't as big as it is now because a lot of people, back in the 80s and 90s, homosexuality, you kept homosexuality to yourself. It was quiet, it was calm, you know, people, you know, was, they, they were doing their things secretly. Now in the 2000s and the 2010, you know, now that is, you know, in the new millennium, everybody's coming out. You know, you got the drag queens, the transsexuals, the, um, Try whatever, try sexual, whatever you want to call it. You know, you got the he, she, the man that want to dress up like women. You got the bisexual. You got the multisexual. You got a lot of people that are coming out now. You know, you got a man that's married that are going out having sex with other men. You know, and you even got pastors that are having sex with other men. You know, and it kills me. Not saying that I'm gay and not saying that I'm homosexual. You know, but I'm just saying, you know. There's there's these people that go to church, live sanctified. You know, I'm I'm a, you know I'm a Christian. I go to church. I live for the Lord. And then they talk about Brother Jones and Brother Jack and, and Brother Jackson and Sister Jones and this. They talk about the people in the congregation that's having sex when their own pastor in the pulpit is sleeping around. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Eddie Bishop Long story when you had when they caught him, you know, sleeping with these four men. You know. He's not the first one and he's not the last one because there have been pastors for years, way before Eddie Bishop Long, clergymen, bishops, people in the, in, you know, saying, in all types of religion, you know, they have been out there sleeping with men for the longest. It's just, you know, he's a well-known TV bishop, so they brought it to the surface. But homosexuality has been out there for the longest and it, it's been well out there for the longest in the church because a lot of people in the church that's the majority of the percentage of your population in the church is homosexual you know and it's not that homosexuality is the biggest sin than anything you can homosexuality is no bigger of a sin than cheating on your wife 
having sex before marriage, you know, doing all that type of stuff, you know, they're all equal sins. But people treat homosexuality like, oh, it's one of the biggest sins out there because they feel, you know, it's wrong. But every, there's a lot of sins out there. Cussing is wrong, you know. Driving on the wrong side of the street is wrong, you know. Doing things on there is wrong. But people don't look at it like that. They look at it in a different way and they treat it as if it's one of the biggest sins, you know. And that's why, you know, it, it kills me to see all these Christians around here, you're going to hell, you're going to hell, you know. <laughs> and then you got all these people around here that walk around preaching the word like, you should be gay, you know, and they don't, but, you know, you don't treat people like that. My thing is, you don't put down a homosexual population. You lift them up. There are some people that might be homosexuals because they was raped as a child. I've, I've heard stories of people who have came, who have told me I was molested as a child by my uncle or by somebody, a friend of mine or a cousin that came and molested me and they raped me or somebody who was in foster care or somebody who didn't have a mama and daddy and I got molested, you know, and then that's what ended up making them gay. Not everybody just turned gay because they feel, oh, I like the feel of a man or I like the feel of a woman. You know, they feel they got molested. You know, they didn't have a good life. And a lot of these people, you know, have bad lives and which turn them into homosexuality. But people don't feel like, oh, you just nasty. You mess around with this man, but you don't know where people come from, you know. And that's a that's one thing that people don't realize in this day and time that homosexuality is not a is no big of a sin than adultery, you know what I'm saying, the bigamist, you know, and, and other stuff like that. That's basically the homosexual way, you know. Yeah, it's going overboard, you know, when you're going, you know, dressing in, in, in wigs and putting on makeup and walking around as a, you know what I'm saying, cross-dresser, you know, when that, you know, a lot of people may find that offensive, you know, because they feel God made you for who you are, you know, which is true, but, you know, there are some people, but you can't judge a person because you might be doing something that's a sin, but then you'll sit up here and say, oh, you kissing a man. You're sinning. But then you go on a date with another woman and your wife is at home. You will ridicule them for kissing another man, but you're doing a sin yourself, which you think is not a sin. Oh, my sin ain't bigger than yours because you having sex with a man. I'm just having a date with another woman and my wife is at home. At least my, at least I'm with a woman. It's not like I'm having a date with a man, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same. It's sin is a sin. Is a sin. You know. Go right ahead, Mister Evidence. Go ahead. All these bones. It's getting old. How y'all doing, everybody? Alright? And say they know and love the Lord. How 
Can you say you have love in your heart for a man that you live around? I'm talking about men, your brothers and your sisters, mankind, and see every day and see that suffering. You see these little kids, you may be feminine, and the people are accusing them of gay, they may have a crust on the little boy on the playground on the football team. You would say, you going to hell if you don't get your mind off of that. You going straight to the devil. All right, let's take a break. We got to take a break. We're going to come back with over on Elegance, and we're going to get more on this topic. We'll be right back. This is the Roundtable Talk. Stay tuned.